Yeah, I know you are very familiar with this word. Hello, class 12th and blah, blah, blah. What to do? I have to say, I can't change your class, not even class 13 or not class 11. That is why I will say again, hello, class 12th and so many things. Again, the same. We have to move ahead. Now, we have seen some questions of last chapters and one test paper. I don't know you have done or not. If you are doing that question paper, you can text me or you can uh, send the photos of solution to me that I can see your solutions are correct or not. And if you want the answer, you can send me the question that question one of test paper and then so on. So I will answer all the questions in the internal messaging app through the entire campus care app only not to the other mean now from this onward. So in the last time what we have done. We were studying the chapter 18 optical instrument in that what was the first topic the first topic was a power of accommodation of eye the first topic was power of accommodation of eye that, that was saying what see you are watching me again I'm just reviving the topics see this the scale at that time I will blur and if you are focusing on my face at this time the scale will be blur. This is what about the power of accommodation of lens here. In the same way, the eye is also doing by using what? Slurry muscles. When slurry muscle compresses the lens, so focus means focal length decreases. And when slurry muscles get relaxed, at that time the focal length at that time increases. The focal length increases. I have shown you this diagram. In this diagram, you can see in the first case, the slurry muscles are relaxing. The lens is very thin, so you can see far point means longer distance. But in the second diagram, the slurry muscles are acting, they are contracting the lens. The lens is thick right now, thick means broader and the focal length decreases. So you can see the near point like everyone that can do. Uh, and also said that a single lens, a real lens means uh, a material lens can have only one focal length, but our natural eye having the multiple focal lengths. It can change its focal length because of these slurry muscles are acting and the lens is of liquid. So it can change its focal length. This was the first topic. Second one was the visual angle. Like this diagram. In this diagram you have seen whenever we are seeing any object, the angle, visual angle forming on our retina is increasing. That's why the image is increasing. This visual angle is termed as alpha, beta, equal, theta, gamma, whatever you can say. Using these visual angles, we came to the new topic that was magnifying power. The magnifying power, if you remember the topic, the magnifying power was the ratio of the visual angle formed by, formed by image on the eye using any instrument to the formed by the object without any instrument. With instrument, it was symbolized by beta and without instrument, it was symbolized by alpha. So simply, M was equal to beta upon alpha. But now, when we arrived to the new topic that was simple microscope, the simple microscope, I told you that nothing but what a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass or you can say the sixth case of image formation of the convex lens. In that, uh, the same thing like uh, an astro astrologer uses that to see of a pump, uh, the lines of a pump. And at that time, the magnified image of the lines on the hand is seen using that magnifying power. This was the sixth case of image formation. In that, what a person can do, suppose now that says, for C, suppose this lens is here, I am placing an object from infinity. So that closer to closer means if the object is at infinity, so image will be at focus, but that will be point image. If the object comes closer, suppose at 2f, image size increases and closer image size goes on increasing. But up to focus, up to focus, the image is real and highly magnified. Now suppose the object is further coming closer to the lens, right? Like this. At this time, you will see the magnified image than the object but this image will be what virtual and virtual image can't be formed on a screen so i want to say first listen clearly 
I have magnified this image, sorry, this object to this time. I have magnified that object to this time. And I can see the lines in my hand using that my simple microscope like that. I want to see further magnified image. How to see that? Suppose you are seeing the magnified image of the object. I want to see further magnified means double of that. Means like you are want to say you want to see the bacteria in my hand. How? You will say, sir, I will use microscope. That's a concept of a microscope. Means the magnified image is going to be further magnified. But the conditions must be there. Conditions are the image that you are going to further magnify. The image must be real. And here it is virtual. Then what to do? Second case. Suppose you are not putting that at between. You are not putting the object between focus and optical center. Because the image is forming virtual. You want that real. So you will just put the back object suppose not that object uh, the at focus but at this time image is formed at infinity so will you go to take the lens another magnified image from infinity infinity we don't know so then what we'll do at this time we will take the object further back means we will put the object between 2f and f to get magnified and real image on the screen this case only this position is there to get further magnified we again just understand what i want to say i want to magnify one object so i can use a simple microscope you have seen very well that's so easy suppose you are using the magnifying glass and you can see the pages so you can see the word on the book you can see the lines in the hand but you can't see the bacteria in the hand to that to do that, we need further magnifying glass. So if you're using convex, another convex. So you, if you have gone through the combination of lenses, if you are combining two convex lenses, so the focal length will decrease. If you have, if you're not doing that, you see. Using a single lens, this is the focal length. But using the double convex lens, the focal length decreases. What to do? Now, the question is, if we want to magnify one image, we can use what? A single convex lens. If we want to further magnify, we have to use convex, but the convex and convex combined makes focal length shorter. What to do? Again, very clearly understand this topic. The compound microscope is very important topic for your board examination. How to set the our lenses Lenses means we will use more than one. How to set the lenses so that magnified image will get further magnified and that using that you can see the fine objects means bacteria, the viruses like Corona, I don't know if this Corona will be visible using that. So how to perform that? Again, I want to say, please listen clearly. This is very important topic for your board. Now see how to see here to show that i want to see i want to show you just see this a lens if i putting i'll put the object activity image will be fine if the object is going closer image will be increasing its length size and if the image sorry object is in between the focus and optical center the image will be magnified but virtual and virtual image cannot be further magnified, pointed. Virtual image cannot be magnified. So what we will do, we will put the object back, we will put the object at focus. If the object is at focus, the image will be at infinity, so we don't know where is infinity. So this point is also invalid. Now put little bit back object again. Now what will happen? We will see a real image and magnify. Whatever it is magnified, we can't magnify further using single lens because we have seen. So this position is final now. We can magnify an object real with real image up to this only. Now if we want to magnify it further, how to do this image? We will make what? The object of this image. See again, that image 
will act as object for the second lens and second lens can magnify further where you will set the lens see again i'm just showing you this object i'm just coming uh, out of the frame first of all see here in this case you can see this object is forming an image here and this image is going to be act as object for the second lens if the lens is adjusting its position suppose i don't know where to put but if we can put the lens in such a way that the other lens has the position of the image such that it is in between the optical center and the focus in this way we can find using the second lens further magnified image but virtual image means the second lens the this lens is acting as what the second lens to show you further magnified image virtual image i don't mean that the virtual image will not be seen the virtual image will be seen but i have further magnified using the second lens so what is going on here the object of first lens forming one image the image is acting as an object for the other lens and you can see the further magnified virtual image you can't magnify further it because so virtual already the last case so you will see from that side we will see from that side so that lens is known as eyepiece and this lens with the, toward this side we are putting object so this lens will act known as an objective objective lens and the eyepiece lens so in this way we can see the further magnified image magnified and then further magnified image using this and this complete system is known as compound microscope we will see in the pages right now let's see on the pages now let's draw the compound microscope like the name compound if you have listened this word in the mathematics as a compound interest means interest is added to the principal again and again same way the compound microscope means the image formed by the lens is again used as a object then further magnified so first of all i'm drawing the principal axis and the one lens which is known as objective so i have drawn this object this is objective lens i'll draw its outline at the last first of all i want to show the ray diagram then at last i'll draw the outline of the lenses so this is objective so the line means two ray will go so i'm going to draw the rays so this is the general positions but uh, as i said the position of the object for the objective must be before the first focus so let this is the first focus of objective so to differentiate fo and here the fo for the objective now this ray will go from the focus and this will go from optical center so the first ray is going from focus whose focus this is focus of objective and the second from the optical center they are intersecting here it means this will be what the position of the image let's draw so i have named it as a dash b dash so first part is done the image is magnified formed a dash b dash here so now what we have to do we have to place another lens here in such a way that this lens will have its focus point somewhere here such way that a dash b dash will be in between the optical center of the eyepiece and the focus and if we know that if the object is in between the focus and optical center so it forms a virtual magnified image somewhere here so i'm going to draw that first i'll place a lens here it's a little bit tough work you must try this how to draw don't be so see uh, means be so don't be so lenient with this diagram this is very tough diagram and it is used to us in examination so i have placed here one another lens eyepiece so again the outline i am not drawing i am just drawing the first the you can say aperture of the lens so now you can see if suppose this length somewhere here the focus of what this will be focus of eyepiece i have to differentiate i have named here e e means eyepiece same way here f e e means eyepiece and you can also see the size of the lens this size is more than this why because as you want to magnify it the size the focal length of this lens must be more and more that is why the length or you can say the focal length of this 
eyepiece lens is more such a way so that it will produce a highly magnified image but virtual so now let's draw the further ray diagrams this ray will turn here this way so where it will go i just draw so you can see the ray has been bent toward this way and this case is the sixth case for this lens eyepiece this is the sixth case what we used to do we just reproduce redraw in the backward so let's draw in the back side what will what happen see so you can see on reproducing it backward they are intersecting here it means we will see from this point this is the position of eye so that is why this lens is this lens is known as eyepiece and um, we will be see we will be seeing from this side so this is the position of eye now this is the intersection point of the rays one ray must go from the optical center as we know that the sixth case how you see here wait as you can see on the screen the ray must go from the optical center also so now i see here i'm going to draw from the optical center too so see here one ray from the optical center to get maximum mark in this topic the all rays must intersect at a single a common point and see here they are intersecting here means virtual image will be formed here i'm drawing the virtual image finally we can see the magnified highly magnified and further magnified this object is magnified from a dash b dash and this a dash b dash is further magnified with this eyepiece from a double dash b double dash now if we can say that uh, focus of eyepiece is here so somewhere here will be also focus focal point so one ray must also go from this point to this point and the retracing path must be also coinciding here all this part uh, this is just the ray diagram consisting the uh, compound microscope topic so this is very important to draw this way and you can obtain correct position correct formation correct intersection also just try at home i am sure that in first term in first down you can't draw properly just try and inform me in one down are you able to draw this the answer will be no now see another ray which is coming parallel from my piece then to the object this is just like if you will see here this is just like the object is placed in between focus and optical center and it is forming the highly magnified virtual image so forget this now see this is object the lens when object is in between focus and eyepiece so it forms virtual and magnified erect image so this is that part but actually what is going on here in this way you can see the object is magnified by putting it between focus and double focus of the first objective which is magnified and form just uh, away from the double focal of uh, of objective a dash b dash and this a dash b dash is placed in between the optical center and the focus of the eyepiece so that it forms highly magnified and virtual erect now again this is the real image that is why it is inverted it forms the virtual image that is why it is erect as the object so as the image so ratio of sorry i'm sorry uh, so the, you can see this image this sorry this object then it is image for this lens for this lens this is object this is image and for this lens this image acts as object and this one forms image so this is all about the ray diagram now com i'm completing the outline of the lenses now see after completing the outlines now it looks perfectly complete now we have to prove what the magnifying power of this system that is what compound microscope how to that we have to find the angles of what angle the angle without any instrument an angle with instrument the angle with instrument will be beta and without instrument will be alpha the angle with instrument for the image the angle without instrument is for the object so i'm drawing that so here i understand how to draw the angle this is very important you are using uh, you are see, uh, seeing this object you are seeing this object using this eyepiece means this is the added eye this is the instrument so as the topic says magnifying power is the ratio of the visual angle subtended by the image using instrument so this is the image and this is the instrument you are watching somewhere from here so this angle listen carefully this angle is beta using instrument to watch image 
now what i have to watch from here i have to watch this object from here to here so this makes a calculation a little bit difficult so what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut the height a a b of the same to this part i'm just writing and see i have just made a cut a double dash b triple dash this a double dash b triple dash is equal to a b why if i'll draw from here the alpha angle so i'll not get anything useful and the calculation will be difficult to make our calculation easy so we will draw an angle from here to see the object i'm drawing now line now see the same height as it is here i have cut in this position in this vertical height of the image i'm not saying that this is this will uh, this uh, image will be as object i'm just cutting the same height as here so if suppose this line would be here so this would be alpha but i'm just cutting here to make same thing so this will be alpha this is making our calculation easy that is why we are cutting in this height so nothing will be changed we got our two visual angles one for the image using instrument and second for the object without an instrument to make our calculation easy i have cut the ab is equal to a double dash b triple dash in such a way to draw the triangle this e a double dash b double b triple dash and makes alpha angle now what we have to do we have to just find the magnifying power i'm just writing here magnifying power is equal to beta upon alpha i used to say this is very small angle so what we will write tan beta over tan alpha now what to do beta see here the complete angle beta perpendicular upon base what is perpendicular here a double dash b double dash i'm writing here a double dash b double dash divided by base a double dash e what is a double dash e from here to here a double dash e c again a double dash e okay now divide by tan alpha if suppose this line would be here so what we will say a b upon a e but i'm changing here just uh, turning in this direction so this will be a double dash b triple dash upon a double dash a e see here again for tan alpha a double dash b triple dash so here a double dash b triple dash divided by a double dash e a double dash e now you can see a double dash e can be cancelled so what it can be written further a double dash b double dash upon a double dash b triple dash and as said <coughs> this a double dash b triple dash is equal to what ab i'm just turning to back to that point so i can write here a double dash b double dash upon ab we can say here since ab is equal to a double dash b triple dash that is why i have changed again from a double dash b triple dash to ab again now after this i am just writing here see this this is just uh, a double dash b double dash upon ab as it is here so what is a double dash b double dash is just the image and what is ab the object but this is object for this lens and this is image for this lens no relation between them so i'm just substituting one more factor see here i am just substituting here a dash b dash to balance this i'm dividing with this with a dash b dash also what will be now this i'm just separating this here a double dash b double dash upon a dash b dash so now the remaining part is a dash b dash upon ab i have just exchanged these places so now something interesting now this a double dash b double dash is what image for this lens and a dash b dash this one is the object for this lens means we are talking only about this lens this is acting as a object for this lens and this is as image so this is you can say the image upon object and do you remember what is called the ratio of height of image to the height of object the linear magnification but this linear magnification for, for which lens the eyepiece to separate the name i'm writing here m small means subscript e into 
a dash b dash upon a b a dash b dash is the image for this lens and a dash b dash is the object for this lens means again image upon object for objective so we can write here m o this is the magnifying power which is the product of the linear magnification this is magnifying power and this is linear magnification of eyepiece and objective both now after this what we need we have to write one equation with the distances like if you remember in the simple microscope that was m is equal to 1 plus d by f so i have to convert in this in in that in those terms so i'm just naming the values in the diagram what are the distances let's see so you can say this is object for this one so i have written u o and this is the image for the this lens so we, i have written v o and this is acting as an object for this lens so this is u e and this is the image i always say that wherever the image is formed that will be the least distance of distinct vision so i'm writing here so see here this is the image distance for this lens so v e and which will be known as least distance of distinct vision so it is symbolized by d also and now this will be focal length of the eyepiece and this will be focal length of objective if we need we will draw this now back to the m again this is the linear magnification of eyepiece the linear magnification if you remember that is equal to hi upon ho or equal to minus v by u if you remember this so this is the definition of linear magnification so for the eyepiece v e upon u e so i'm writing here minus v e upon u e but you can see the v e on the left side and the u e is also on the left side so both negative will be cancelled this will be only v e by u e and what is v e v e is nothing but the d so uh, i'm just writing again this so instead of v e i'm writing d and this is u e multiplied by now for m o for this objective image is on the right side object is on the left side so positive upon negative this will give the negative one so negative v o upon u o this is negative because the image is on the right side object is on the left side and this is positive because both of of them are on the left side so this is here so here we can end the linear magnification but suppose in the examination it is asked write the expression for the normal use so for normal use or clear vision if this comes in examination well, well this is up to that topic but if suppose in examination it is written uh, calculate for the normal use or clear vision then what you will do you will say that 1 upon v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f this is the general equation so here 1 by for the eyepiece this is d since is it on the left side so minus d minus 1 upon u e again this is on the left side so this will be negative is equal to 1 upon f e for the eyepiece this is all complete for the eyepiece this term i'm going to change so just multiply with the d in the numerator so this will come d upon minus d this will become plus plus d upon u e is equal to d upon f e so this negative one will go on that side so d upon u e is equal to d upon f e plus one this plus one is going a negative one going to that becomes plus one so we have d upon u e right now so we can change this value so again what we are having magnifying power m is equal to uh, minus v o upon u o in bracket one plus d upon this can be also written as in the form of magnifying power with the terms these now in the normal use means clear vision this is the situation in this situation in examination one question comes used to come that what is the length of this microscope length means the distance between the lenses what is the distance between the lenses vo plus ue so if in examination it comes 
so here it comes length of microscope in normal use that is vo plus ue see here the distance from here to here vo plus ue so this is all about the normal use but one more question comes about that is relaxed case see this is the ray diagram for the relaxed case this is not in our syllabus this is optional but i want to show you whenever this word comes relaxed relaxed means that see here this object is in between focus and the eyepiece if suppose this is this this lens is just adjusted means it is shifted left back right in this side so this focus will come to the object see here on moving that lens in this direction the i uh, focus of this eyepiece comes to here means at the position of the object so this is like object is placed at the focus so the image will be formed at infinity this case is called relaxed eye case in this case what is the length vo plus u o uh, sorry vo plus ue but now ue is what is equal to fe so in this case the length will be vo plus fe so you can see here vo plus ue but now ue is fe so vo plus fe this is the length of that and what about the magnification in the normal case it was minus vo upon ue 1 plus d by f so when it will be in the relaxed eye case so this one will be removed at that time it will be d by f only so this is the magnifying power of uh, compound microscope in relaxed eye case but this is optional here you have seen how difficult it is to draw that ray diagram of the compound microscope i request you please draw once at least that uh, you must make sure that are you able to draw this diagram this is little bit difficult ray diagram just try at least once and you must come to know that how it is difficult just try and try and how to draw if you want to know just see the video again so in the next lecture we will discuss about the numerical based on the simple microscope and the compound microscope then we will talk about the further our next topic that is telescope so in the next lecture we will talk about the numerical it means i'm supposing that you will solve first from the topics of the numerical based on the simple microscope and compound microscope and then you will inform me that i am facing problem or the, these problems uh, so please solve these so i will solve those questions that you will request but for that you have to go through the simple microscope numerical and the compound microscope and remember about the normal use relaxed eye case and whatever i have taught in this lecture just go through in detail first then solve the numerical inform me i will solve those questions only if you will not do this means i will go as random question then you will say again sir this question and that question so please follow my instruction and do solve so till the next lecture take care be safe thank you